Welcome back, everybody, on this Monday afternoon. Wayne Ozarzak, the handyman, joins us live to talk about some of the things that you should, we should, all be looking out for. Yeah, the rotten weather really is taking a toll on uh, not just people, but uh, our homes, our things we use. Uh, good to see you, sir. And Thank I, you. I, I Thank guess you so much. It's so much talk. We just read a story a little while ago about what to do with the icicles forming mm -hmm. on the gutters, your roof line. Uh, talk to us about that issue. Well, if you can carefully take them down, just so they don't at some point fall on someone that might be under them, then it's okay to knock them down with a broom or something, but don't get up there with a hammer. Try not to get up there with a ladder because everything's icy, everything's slick. Right, so, I was going to say, they are pretty to look at, but you're saying yeah. use some common sense because some friends of mine, this weekend, we were just going to use a hammer or a mm -hmm. screwdriver and just pop them off, but you're saying that could do more harm than good. Yeah, use something that where you can stand away from it so nothing falls on you or on anything else because some of them could be quite heavy. Okay, good deal. And let's, sure. let, let's jump right in and start talking about the things we need to do to now winterize our home. You're saying start mm -hmm. with the water hose there, huh? Right. Uh, uh, there's a hose bib, and in some older homes, they don't have them like this. The actual, to turn the water on is here, but the actual valve to stop the flow water is back here, which mm -hmm. is inside the house. So much, le much less likely to freeze than if you just had a valve here and then a shut off somewhere else inside the house. You mm -hmm. forget to turn it off. And this freezes, you'll have a big problem. And Wayne, what else about freezing pipes can we do? We hear about, uh, you know, leaving the faucets on just a little bit overnight mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Does that work? It does work. What it does, it releases the pressure. The ice that's in the pipe is not always where it breaks. When the ice expands, it actually pushes more pressure toward the faucet. Yeah. If there's nowhere to relieve that, it's going to rupture somewhere. Let's talk yeah. about this right here. This is always something that I try to do in the winter, put this plastic up mm -hmm. around because my sun porch is freezing back there. Right. What's the easiest way to do that then? Well, it, it, you just need to tape it on, get it secure, and then, and then just hit it with a blow dryer. But just be careful how you hit it. Don't just get it in one spot. Keep it even. And the key is hit it up with the blow dryer at the end. That yeah. way it's really, really sealed. Makes it taut, yeah. All right, well, you brought a blow dryer here. Was that, <laughs> what, what, what are we doing with the blow? Well, what are you going to show us? It could be used in a couple of things. Yeah, one for this. Yeah. The other one is if you know where a frozen pipe is. It's something okay. probably everyone has in their house. It might be a quick, easy way to thaw it to get the flow of water going and again. And you're saying just, just use this? Just turn your blow dryer on? Yeah, if you know where the ice is. Sometimes you don't always know where it's actually frozen. Wow. Right. But if you're able to determine that. that because it's in a spot that it normally happens. And what's this? This is a door sweep. It's just a little ah, rubber right. edge you can put on the bottom of a door to keep some of the air out. And this is always, well, this is a good trick that's right here, too. That's a window and door caulk. Just oh, so yeah. You can't really do that right now. You have right. to wait till warmer weather. But that's a good idea to have your windows checked. Um, make sure they're all sealed up. And this goes up on the top, huh? That is, yeah, it's a roof melt. Um, I don't recommend you really get up on the roof. There's a couple ways you can do it, but it's supposed to help back behind where the ice dam is, and it, it creates a valley to, um, to let the water come off to relieve that pressure. Okay, good stuff. And if folks want more information or have questions, what should they do? They should go to MrHandyMan.com. There That's you go. That's an easy one to remember. Yes. Wayne or Zazak, thank you so thank much you. for joining us. We appreciate it.